Hey folks, I'm Jonathan Hayes with Do All Outdoors and we're going to go over the assembly and operation of our new auto trap, the Firefly. Assembly and setup is only going to take about five minutes or less. Um, the only tools that are required are a 11 millimeter wrench and a four millimeter Allen wrench. So to get started, what we want to do is we want to set the trap kind of on its side. And the first thing we're going to do is install the front leg brackets. And at the same time, we're going to install the front safety ring arms. So you just put them together like so. Grab one of the Allen screws, slide it through the hole, and go ahead and get started on this. So you can just hand tighten it for now. Get our holes lined up. Take our second screw. And at this point, you can go ahead and tighten these all the way down with your Allen wrench. And then we're just gonna repeat that step on the opposite side of the trap. And we just take our bracket and our safety ring arm, and again, stack them like so. Take our screw. Okay. So we've got the front leg brackets and the safety ring, front safety ring arm brackets installed. Now the next step we want to take is to install the front legs. Pretty simple process. Just slide your leg in like that. There's one. And there's two. Now once we have that, we're going to want to install the rear base legs. And we're just going to pick up the unit from the back. Slide these in the slots. Now our next step is going to, going to be to attach the stacker poles. We're going to put our stacker poles on and you just slide these over the stacker pole mounts like so. Pretty simple. And then we're going to take our horseshoe and our four bolts and simply attach it to the stop, top of the stacker poles. Now you want the open end of the horseshoe to face to the rear of the trap. Okay, now that we've hand tightened them, we're just going to give them a final couple turns with our 11 millimeter wrench. They don't have to be too tight. Just nice and snug. Okay. So that's it for our stacker poles and our horseshoe. And this is where you're gonna drop your clays into. Next step we wanna take is to attach the rear safety ring mounts. Okay, now your rear safety ring mounts is attached to the back of the trap. Real simple, and these two pre-tapped holes. And we're gonna go ahead and install this one. Okay, so now that we've got our safety ring mounts attached, it's time to attach the safety ring. Now the safety ring is a visual indicator of the arm's path, so while you're operating the trap, you never want to penetrate that area with any part of your body. So the first thing you want to do to get it started is put it out in front of the trap like so run it through the first safety ring arm all the way to the back of the trap and into the rear safety ring holder and you want to take the opposite end repeat that step just run it through the safety ring arm and attach it to the rear of the trap on the rear safety ring mount all right now you want to get her straightened out so we're, you know, gives you a nice circle. So again, the safety ring is just a visual indicator of the arm's path. So don't ever penetrate this area while the trap's in operation. Now the last and final step we want to take is to install the main spring. Now we want to take the arm and move it to the 12 o'clock position. 
And then underneath the unit, there's an eyelet. We want to rotate that to the back of the trap. So we want to take the front hook on the main spring and attach it to the eyelet. And then push the spring bolt back up into the spring to give yourself some room. And then just run it out through the hole in the back of the trap. So once the spring bolt is through the back of the trap, you just want to take your knob and start tightening it. So once we've taken that final step, installing the main spring, the main spring bolt, and the tightening knob, we are done with setup. At this point, we're going to move on to the operation of the Firefly. So now that we've got the Firefly together, now the fun starts. It's time to start shooting. And a couple of things we want to do before that before we start launching clays. And one is we want to put the trap on a nice dry flat surface. Now the front legs are designed to go into the ground. So what you want to do once you get the trap, you want to make sure there's no rocks or anything that's going to impede the ability of the spikes to go into the ground. So you want to grab the spikes by the brackets and you just want to push down on them. Now if there's rocks in the way, you can simply pick it up, move it to another spot, and push it in the ground. Now you never want to push the unit from up here, or the arm, or the safety ring holder. You always want to do it from that area. And then you want to look to the back and make sure the rear base is sitting on a nice flat plane. So once you've done that, it's time to load the machine and start shooting some birds. Okay, so now that we've got the trap on the ground, spikes firmly planted, um, couple things we want to take into consideration and one is spring tension. Um, you want to tighten the spring bolt to where right when you start getting a, a good amount of resistance you want to stop. Right there that's going to get you about 40-45 yard throw. Um, you can go tighter but that's just a good starting point point. Um, and, and you can adjust the throwing distance by the amount of spring tension you put on it. So if you want to back off the, the, the throwing distance a little bit you can take the remove the tension off the spring. So make sure that the bolt is uh, the spring bolt is good and tight make sure the tr firefly is in the off position and then we want to load our clays and we always wear, recommend white flyer clays the firefly will take standard or biodegradable clays so you want to take your 10 birds and load them into the stack Okay, so now that we've got our clays loaded, our spring tension set to where we want it, our spikes firmly planted in the ground, the trap's on a nice level plane, it's time to hook the machine up to the battery. The battery's going to be a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery, and we're just simply going to connect red to positive, black to negative. Again, make sure the machine's in the off position. Alright, so now that we're hooked up to the battery, we're going to cut the machine to on. And what's going to happen is the arm is still in the 12 o'clock position from setup. We're going to cut the machine to on. The arm's going to come around. It's going to pick up a bird and it's going to stop. And at that point, you're ready to fire. And how you fire is you depress the foot pedal. Now, when you step on the foot pedal, you want to hold it down for a second or two and then let off of it. Never keep constant pressure on the foot pedal. Always stop in between, in between cycles. So we're going to go ahead and fire up. All right, so the machine is essentially locked and loaded. A bird is on the arm, and now we just want to fire the, fire the bird. It's going to cycle back around, pick up another bird, and you just want to repeat that step. You step on the foot pedal for a couple of seconds, let go. All right, so remember at this point, we're locked and loaded, we're live, the trap is under spring tension. If you need to make any adjustments to it or move the trap, you want to disconnect it from the battery, remove the main spring, cut the machine to the off position because the arm is always going to be under spring tension until you remove that tension. So any adjustments need to be made. You need to take those safety steps to make sure that um, the arm isn't in a situation where it can accidentally fire. Once we're ready to stop shooting, there's a couple steps we need to take to make sure that we're, we're ready for our next outing. One, you want to cut the machine to the off position. You want to disconnect it from the battery. You want to remove your clays 
You can do that at any point that you choose. But remember, the machine is always under spring tension. So when we're done shooting, if you just want to take a short break, a 30 minute break, an hour break to grab lunch or whatever you need to do, that's fine. But if you're going to st stop for any extended period of time, you need to remove the tension from the trap. And how we do that, we just back the knob off of the spring bolt and remove the tension and the spring completely. And it's under tension, so it's going to be kind of hard to turn initially. And while you're doing this, make sure that you don't get to the right of the machine or inside the perimeter of the safety ring. Always stand behind the trap when you're breaking it down, when you're operating it. You always have to stand behind the trap. You don't want to be anywhere near this arm if, in case it goes off. All right, so now we're ready to store our trap for an extended period of time. We've taken the main spring off, but only after we disconnected it from the battery, put it to the off position. So now you just want to put the knob back on it so you can store it. Just want to take our clays out, put these back in the box or wherever you want to put them. It's up to you. And now our Firefly is ready to store. And again, I want to point out that when you're ready to go back out to shoot, you got to put the arm in the 12 o'clock position and then reattach the mainspring. Repeat those steps every time you take the mainspring off or you need to make an adjustment. Okay, so now that we've covered the assembly and operation of the Firefly, we want to go over a few troubleshooting pointers. Um, one in particular, if the trap should get out of time, it's a very simple adjustment. And what I mean by getting out of time, meaning is the arm is either stopping too late or too soon. And how we cure that is a pretty simple process. But before we make any adjustments, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the trap is disconnected from the battery, the power switch is in the off position, and we remove the mainspring entirely. Now we've designed the Firefly to where you can take the mainspring off and relieve all the tension from the spring, making it um, a safe environment as you should make the, have to make those adjustments. So we're gonna take the mainspring off and if the arm is stopping too late, meaning the arm's already passed through before the clay is dropped. And we can cure that with one simple adjustment with the limit switch that's located right here underneath the top of the unit. You just want to take your five millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the two bolts, and if the arm is stopping too late, you want to move the limit switch to the left. Conversely, if the arm is stopping too early, you want to move the limit switch to the right. Now this may take a couple of steps, but what you can do is, is you can put a clay on the unit and rotate the arm manually with the main spring off. With the main spring off, you can visually inspect the timing of the trap in relation to where the slide plate is when the arm comes through. So right when the clay should be dropping onto the arm, there should be no slide plate showing here. Only when it comes through should it come back out. So that's how you adjust your timing. And if you want to put a clay in there to drop it to see where your arm is in relation to when the clay drops, you can do that as well. So like I said, it may, may take a couple of tries, but once you get it right, just tighten the screws back up and you're ready to go. As you're troubleshooting your auto trap, um, again, any adjustments or improvements you make to the trap, you want to make sure that the power's off, the machine's disconnected from the battery and the main spring has been disconnected and all tension has been relieved from the trap. A couple other things you want to keep in mind is you want to keep all working parts lubricated with some good silicone grease. You want to store the Firefly in a clean and dry area. And then when you take it out for your next use, make sure you wipe it down and all the working parts are, they don't have any grit or debris or broken shards of um, the clay stuck into some crevices that could um, hurt the performance of the trap. So always visually inspect the trap before you go to shoot it. You know, with the, when the main spring's off, rotate the arm through, make sure your timing's right, make sure everything's running smooth, check your springs, your plunger, make sure all your wires are still connected and make sure there's no water damage. And then once you've given your trap a good visual inspection, 
um, you should be ready to go. One thing I do want to add, if you should ever have to take the main spring off, you're going to need to reinstall it. And you'll want to follow the steps that you followed when you put the Firefly together. And that's move the arm into the 12 o'clock position and then reinstall the main spring. You don't want to install the main spring while the arm is in any position other than the 12 o'clock position. So you want to make sure that when you do take it apart and put it back together, that you're in the 12 o'clock position. And while we're on the topic of taking it apart, while you're storing the Firefly, it's always important that you do take the mainspring completely off. That way the trap's not under tension, it can't accidentally go off or anything like that. So always take the mainspring off when you're storing it. You can remove the stacker poles if you'd like, if you want to slide it you know, under a workbench or what have you. You can take the legs off, the front legs or the rear legs, and the trap will sit flat. So while you're storing it, you can break it down pretty simply and store it into a nice, small, compact area. But when you do that, always make sure that you take your spring off and it's never under uh, spring tension when you're storing it. Then when you go ready to go back out to start shooting again, you want to repeat the assembly steps, put the legs back on, install the main spring, um, and then you should be ready to go. Well, that'll conclude our assembly operating and troubleshooting portion for the Firefly. We hope you enjoy it. It's, a, it's an awesome trap. It's very compact, very lightweight comes with a carry bag which is a bonus if you have any questions about the firefly or any other of our awesome products or our auto traps you can visit dualoutdoors.com thank you for your business and have fun shooting